had a wish that the museum could be the best university art museum in the country. And uh, I could see that it would be not only a benefit to the university, but to the community at large. We decided that we wanted to do something like that. It was that important to us. My name is Simona Shivian Chazen, and I'm a proud alumnus of the University of Wisconsin. And I'm Jerry Chazen, also a proud alum. I grew up in New Jersey, lived in New Jersey. Well, from the time I was 14 years old, I wanted to go to the University of Wisconsin. I heard it was this beautiful campus on a lake. Even on my worst day at the school, I would say, what a wonderful place to have a worst day at. Right. I really, I really wanted to be there and was always very grateful to be there. Besides that, it had a great journalism school. And you wanted to be a journalist. And I wanted to be a journalist, yes. I too had heard about Wisconsin. At that time, I was very interested in uh, economics, and in particular, labor economics. It was a very good labor e econ department at uh, UW. So that appealed to me. It was also far away. And so I got on a train, and there I was. Wonderful time for me, a wonderful education. I made so many good friends there, people that I'm friendly with to this day. My roommate had graduated from the same high school as Simona had and uh, introduced me to her. So that's how we met. I guess the other thing that happened to me at school, which has stayed with me to this day, I fell in love with jazz music and it's something that I had never really been exposed to prior to getting to uh, UW. My very first date with Jerry was he invited me to a jazz event that he was running. He ran a jazz record hour where he picked the records, he spoke about the artists, and then he played them. And that was our very first date. That's right. And it happened that I knew a little about jazz, and I did like it. <laughs> yeah. That's true. We've been partners in jazz ever since. Yeah. At that point in my life, I thought it might be nice to work on Wall Street. And matter of fact, I did get a job working for a small Wall Street firm. My first roommate, Madison, had married a lady by the name of Liz Claiborne. We had stayed friends over all the years. At one point, he called me and said, uh, could you meet Liz and I for something we want to talk to you about? And I said, sure, let's start a company. And we did. And we, um, we raised the money, put our own money in, as much as I could, and started a company. And we were in the right place at the right time, with the right people. Whatever we did, we did it the right way. And in less than 10 years, we became the largest uh, fashion company in the history of the world. So that was pretty good. Go to Madison, meet a wife, find a career, do all of those things. Couldn't happen to you. <laughs> and I guess it can, right? People did really well. Education is the single most important thing that you can offer a young person. The University of Wisconsin has, over the years, developed an ability to really do a very good job of educating people. That's where ideas are born. That's where inventions happen. That's how it gets better. That if you have a place where you nurture ideas, where you nurture the people who have the ideas, then you're going to be helping your country and civilization in general.